awesome guys, Quahi Panda here, and I'm back with another um, slime review. This slime review is a special case because this person does not have a slime shop yet. Um, he, they basically sent me their slime to see if it was good enough to be put in a shop. They want my input, and they just want it to know or am I good enough? You know, that's it. And they know I'm going to be honest and, you know, I want to thank them so, so, so much for, you know, trusting my my opinion and sending me their slime all the way from Hawaii. Thank you so much. Now, this is um, Mr. Rhino. So, this bag is so, so cute and they packaged everything so nicely like really like really like oh, it's so adorable everything is so adorable in this box and I just love it so I'm gonna get my activator just in case I need it because this it has came from Hawaii and I haven't opened it I haven't messed with anything and obviously your packages will not be coming in different containers or anything like that. He, they do not have a shop yet. This is just for me to test their slimes out. That's all it is. And um, so like they'll be, they'll be way put together by the time you purchase from them. Okay guys, so these are so adorable. Like look at them. Like. Obviously, you're seeing a screen right here. So, they gave me, she's told me, it's so cute. They okay, so, why my phone is charging just a little bit to give it a little bit of power because it just keeps shutting off. I'm going to read what they said. So, this is, this is how the slimes came with bows on them. They are so adorable. And this one is Bubble Gum Girl Cotton Candy. This one is Akahi Berry. Akahi Berry. Obviously, Berry. <laughs> and this one is um, on, on the Beach. And if you look at it, it's the water and the sand. Now tell me that is not adorable. Now guys, I know this is not like my normal filming setup. And trust me, I'm going to get back to that setup. It's just that I'm work, um, rebuilding my computer at the moment. So I'm not sure if the slimes are going to come to you with bows like mine did. Um, or they they just did that for me. Um, but I think it's a cute touch. I think you should stick with it. I like the Lobos. I think that if it's not costing you anything that much extra, it doesn't hurt and it makes it, it they, they look like special little presents and I love it. Obviously, when you do your, um, your real slimes, you would want to stick with, uh, um, do what, use whatever you can, but I think using like plastic, um, like, Tupperware is expensive, so try to get like cheap, um, affordable like containers from Michaels or something. So, because these are really expensive, I don't, and then if you can get like containers from um, like jars, like slime jars, if you can, you know, and or you know just or just sell eight ounces. Like it doesn't hurt, honestly. I wouldn't kind of give a everyone Tupperware because that's expensive after a while oh my god Tupperware Ooh. all right so I love how it came in with bows I just think that is such such a cute touch I love it I think you should stick with it I saw that and I was like no way I was um mine can mine did not come with borax or anything like that and it spells me in all the letter um I love this love it but if you can type it out it's it's much better it just looks more professional um yes this is more personable but it just looks more professional if you type it out for your actual real people that are buying from you 
um, list of package and aeons on the beach line. Um, proud with pride slime. I'm guessing they are, um, the LPT, LPTQ thing. I don't know. Um, just guessing. I may be totally wrong. No, I'll always tell me not assume, so I'm not going to. Um, Bubba Girl Kind, um, 180 mil of Aqua Berry slime is the extra. Um, small bag of Munchie Cracker, small bag of, um, Lahi Moi Mango, and eight Haichu Kake Green Apple and Mango. Um, enjoy. Thank you. I will. Definitely. So, things I will do for my future shop, they said. Business cards, labels, stickers, borax, borax instructions, and even more extras. That is awesome. So, I'm really, really excited about their shop. Like I said, if they take my um, advice, I hope they do because this is, would, be, would be a total waste of time for me. But because I don't care for free slime, like I make my own. I do this to help people and I love, love, love helping people. I I enjoy getting people slime so I can let them know if it's good, it's bad, how they can fix things, little things. But, and I do it in the nicest way possible. I give them recipes sometimes, all that. I, I help them out. I don't give them like every recipe I have, not certain recipes that I made myself, but if I found something on the inter on YouTube that helped me out totally, I'm going to send them in that direction because, hey, it's on the internet, I didn't make it, I didn't create it, someone else did, so I'm going to send them somewhere that helped me out with the understanding, the science of slime. And that's what I do. I help them. So, thank you so much for this letter. I loved it. Even though know, it was like a little invoice. I loved it so, so much. I love the little coloring on the side. But next time, if you can, use this paper. Just type it out. It'll look so much more pro professional. And people like professionalism. Makes your shop come up by like five points. I'm telling you. Okay, so let's open these slimes up and see what they're about. So I'm going to open up Bubble Gum Girl Cotton Candy real, for, uh, real fast. First, I don't want to mess these bows up. Ugh. That's the only thing that I don't want to do, but I have to. So, alright, so, I don't know what, I wish they would, you would have told me what slime was what, if, what, if one was a, um, like clay slime, um, a butter slime, a blah 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 slime, a blah 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 blah, blah slime, glossy slime, anything, I wish you would have told me in the, in the invoice, next time in the future let them know what they're getting like obviously I didn't make this order so I don't know what these slimes are and I it's hard for me to review a slime I don't know what it's supposed to be you understand so next time um if you're gonna give someone slime for review just let them know like just say you know this is a butter slime this is a glossy slime this is a um flown, stuff like that I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna just try to hopefully hope 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 to God that these are like super easy to tell. My battery is like dinging, so I'm hoping it lasts as long as possible. I'm trying to just use it up. I have another one, so don't worry, guys. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, these are containers that are like nice. Give it. Okay, what is this? This is like a, a phone? I don't know if their um their scents are scented. I mean their scents, their slimes are, are scented. No. Which is fine because they're just starting. 
remember they don't even have a shop yet so I don't expect much from them but good slime as long as slime's good that's all that matters so this is like a pink and I know in the camera it's coming out really white but it's like a pink and white really really pretty I wish you can see it better like can you see it like a little better in here I don't know. It's like pink and white. It's so, so pretty. It's so, it's like, it looks like cotton candy. Like, it looks like cotton candy. Pink cotton candy. And it has, what is this? Oh my god. This is the weirdest slime. Like, in a good way. Mmm. I don't know what this, what the, this is. I'm going to have to ask them, like, what is this? And I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. Wow, this, this texture on the bottom, I don't know what kind of glue they use or what it's mixed with. But I don't even want to mix it up. Like, I would like just the slime of this bottom is that it's so interesting I can't I don't know what it is I don't know what slime what glue it is I don't know what kind of slime it is it has like salt like sugar flakes in it like fake snow but I don't know what this is oh my god it is so interesting They must, I don't know if they have like different glues there. I don't want to put activator in it because I don't think it needs it, but this texture is amazing. It's like, like, it's just so weird. It literally reminds me of cotton candy. And it has like little crystals of something. Of like fake snow. This is so interesting. It does not smell like... It does not smell like, um... Elmer's glue. It's so interesting. Wow. Wow. I've never felt a slime like this. Ever. In my whole times of like creating slimes, like seeing slimes. I've never felt. Oh, I should take my ring off. no clue what this is made out of. It is so unique. I would I would recommend this 100%. It is so unique. There's no fallout. There's a little bit of like salt, like these little sugar things falling out, but they're not like terrible and they're not getting on, like they're not annoying or anything. But this is such a unique texture. I recommend this so much. Like, this is gorgeous. Oh my god. So for the extras, I'm so backwards. For the extras, this is the high chews. And that is so cool. So they had a little sticker. They put a little sticker high chews and they put like probably what was on the bag. That's so, so cute. And then some um, Hawaiian tradition and some crackers. I want to try one so bad. So I'm going to try one. They are good. And then some mangoes, crackers, mangoes, and high chews. And like I said before, 
I love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That cracker was good. And I'm hungry, so. So here's an, um, I was very interested in this one. It is on the beach, and it looks just like on the beach. It looks like water and sand. It's so amazing. And it has all these, like, extra goodies that you, you're supposed to put inside, but I won't put them inside. I just don't do that because I feel like, like, these, I, these are, like, um, not, they're not really meant for the water. So, I mean, for the water, for the slime. So, they're going to end up getting, like, stuck in there and stuff like that. But for show, I will... This might need to be activated. Ooh, this is sticky. I think this is an icy slime. Or jelly slime. Gummy slime. It's really thick. Wow. So... of the video I will put some of the stuff like some of the charms on it but I'm not gonna put like all of them so like this this these are so cute oh my god so cute so cute and this is like So darn cute. I love it. So all these come with it. And I don't know how people, oh god, it's stuck in there. This is why I didn't want to do this. Oh well, I'll have to get it off later. <laughs> For, <laughs> this is just me, like, what I do when I use, like, things that are from, that aren't meant to be, like, slime charms, I cut off the little button back area so that it, slime doesn't stick to it as bad. That's just my advice. But it was totally cute. So cute. Okay. So I appreciate my little bag of goodies, my little charms. I will remember it that it came with this. But I love, I don't know what they used for the bottom. I think it's maybe a clay base but this is definitely like a thick clear base and wow this is like thick and it's not even sticky and I've been I've had this sitting so wow I don't even want to do this I think it's like um oh maybe it's um I don't know what it is. Is that a clay? Or a fizz? Ah. It's like either a clay or a fizz. I think it's a fizz, the sand. Yeah, it's a fizz. So that's mix these together I don't know it's probably going to I don't know what color it's going to turn into hopefully not in bad now I know I think I know what's in that pink one is this this feels like I don't even know it is so unique I've never felt anything like this like, what are you using for the sand that's what I want to know Wow, it's like rubbery, but in a good way. It feels so crazy. Wow. This is insane. It's like dry and it doesn't even feel like slime. It is insane. It's the most insane feeling. And it turned to this pretty, like, iridescent brown and green um, slime. 
it is insane. Oh my god. I don't even understand what what is he using? Or they. I, I honestly don't know if it's a boy or girl, so it's like they use real sand or something. It's a little rippy. If you go too fast. But if you play with it like a normal person and not like me, <laughs> it doesn't rip. This is. Wow. I have not. I have not ever felt like any slime like this before in my life. This is. So unique. Wow. I have not been. I wasn't filming that whole entire time. The texture to on the. The texture to on the beach is so, so unique. I've never, ever felt anything like this in my entire life. It's like, and then when once you mix it together, it's like an iridescent of a green and a brown. And it has these little grains in them. I've never felt anything like this. Never. I need to find out what the heck they're using because, wow. Like, what does Hawaii have that we don't, like, what are you using? Are you using real sand? Like, it's such little of something. Something is, I've never felt. There's, his, their slimes are so, so unique. I've never felt slime like this. Like, they're so dry, too. Like, they don't even feel like slime. I don't know. It's weird. It's so weird what I'm feeling when I play with their slimes. It's the most unique feeling I've ever felt in a slime. Alright, so now we got Proud with Pride. It's blowing me away. Blowing me away. It's their uniqueness. Like, I've never felt slimes like this. Ever. I thought it was going to be normal slimes. Like, just normal slimes. No, something with their that he's they're adding is making it so different now this would have been so pretty if it didn't mix it stinks that like it traveled such a far way so obviously it mixed up but it's still super pretty like look at it this is um rainbow with pride and it's got big beads with small beads and it's got some clear slime on the bottom it's mostly beads though that I see. There's very little clear slime. Like, well, that's sticky. Let's mix it up. I don't know if the slime that they have is gonna hold all the beads that they have. My fiance would love this one. And it's usually when you mix like colors, it turns all murky and gross. This still looks so pretty. It's like so, so pretty still when you pull it. Oh, my fiance is going to love this one. Now do remember that this is a kid. This is not an adult building a slime shop. This is a kid. And I am blown away by the textures. This is a great foam. I'm not really big on foams. My fiance is. My fiance will love this foam. He already wanted to open it. And I was like, I can't. I have to wait until I film. So amazing. Love it. Now that's just, that was a flown. That was amazing. It's so pretty. It's such a, such, such a pretty, I'm like stuttering. I'm so, 
blown away. Um, such a pretty flown. Per pick the perfect colors. It's just so pretty. It's still so, so pretty. Wow. Oh. All right, the last slime in the bunch. And this is Akahi Berry. And this is like, this This is, I think, a butter slime. Because he said, they said they were going to send me a butter slime. And this looks very buttery. <laughs> I don't know what the heck the other ones are. I'm, I'm going to have to ask them because, like, I need to know what I'm playing with. Wow. I don't know. It's their glue, I think. It's the glue that they're using. Because this is, like, so thick for, oh my god. I think this is too thick. Like, I'm going to have to add some, um, add something to, oh. Yeah, this is a little too thick. Let me add a, let me add a little bit of glycerin to this to soften it up. Kind of reminds me of store-bought slime. Just to keep it real. I'm not, I don't understand. This is the thickest slime I've ever touched. Like, ever. Like, what glue are you, you using? The sad part is, it's very rippy. It's like, it's more of a, like, play in your hand kind of slime. It's not a stretchy slime. This is more like, you know, just play. It's so thick though. I don't understand how they got he got it so thick. The textures of their slimes are nothing that I've touched before. Like look at this butter slime. Like look how thick this is. And this is something they made. Like, so how the heck did you make this? Like, it's getting a little better because I put glycerin in it. And I'm warming it up. But it feels like nothing I felt before. Like, look how thick that is. It's crazy. It's crazy. Alright, one more poppy pop, and then give me my final thoughts. It's so thick that it's like so weird. Tell you one thing, their their textures his their textures are so different that I'm I'm addicted to those slimes because I've never felt anything like this. They definitely need some scents because whatever glue they're using has a scent that I've never smelled before. And I'm not sure what it is, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I want to find out what the scents are. That I'm that, what kind of glue that they're using. Okay, so, basically, alright, final thoughts on Mr. Rhino's slimes. That is that, is that they're amazing. I'm sorry I'm not like in frame 
but my battery died and like messed everything up. Um, they have the most unique textures. I've never felt ever like I don't understand these textures that I'm feeling. They must have like different types of glue over there because I am not feeling El Elmer's glue. I'm sorry. That that is not an Elmer's glue. They're like that butter slime was so crazy. Like what are you using? Like what glue are you using? I don't I don't get it. Um this glue has definitely has a scent to them, but like, whatever, it's, they have to, if that's what they got, is what they got, but like, the textures are so unique. The only, um, con I have is with the last one, which was the Awi, um, Awi Berry. It would have been amazing. You have to add some glycerin to it. It's too thick. It rips. It tears. It's just so, so thick that it just, it tears. So, like, you have to put some component in there, like, to, don't make it as thick as it is. Or include some, or, like, add, put some glycerin in with it. So that way, it do, it's not so rippy. Test your slimes before you send them out. This was so thick. It was really, it's so unique. I've never felt anything like it. I've never felt a butter slime like this. Never. I, and this has to be a butter slime. It has, unless it's a glossy. I don't know. I don't know. But he, he, they did send, tell me they were going to send me a, um, a clay slime, clay based slime. Um, because I have brain fart. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. But they did send, tell me they were going to send me that because I was like, oh, I have problems making it. And they said they were going to send me one. So this has to be it. I just, it's so thick that you can't play with it. It just rips. So I had to add a little bit of glycerin. But if a person doesn't have glycerin, they would have been screwed. And they wouldn't have been able to play with it. So if you have glycerin, either add it in and make it softer. I know you want it super thick, but if it's tearing, it's not... It's not really worth it, you know. It's still thick, even if you you make put some glycerin in it. Um, glycerin is just going to make it more stretchy and more fun to play with. How it came, it wasn't fun to play with. It was ripping and stuff like that. But I love the texture of it. So if you can make it more stretchy and still be what it is, it would be top notch. I'm telling you. Oh my god, all these slimes are so unique. In texture that um I'm telling you you would have the slime be I don't know what, slime, what glue you're using what you're using but it is stick to it get some sense though because get some kind of like sense from Amazon or something because this this the clay the glue you're using has a strong odor like glue odor just chemical odor and it's not really appealing but this I, I'm gonna end up putting scents all in these but if I if so if I didn't have scents then I would wouldn't want to really play with them because of the smell of them but they're just so unique and so satisfying to play with you making some good slimes the only one that I I need to fix and I shouldn't have had to because if I didn't have the any the ingredient to fix it, then what would I have done is the um, clay slime, clay based slime, you have to make it more stretchy because it was super rippy, but it was really thick. So I can see why it was rippy, but I added, I made it a little more stretchier and I'll probably have to add a little more glycerin to it. I just didn't have the time because I'm trying to get this video done. Um, but you make great slimes. You, you should open up your shop. You're ready to go. You just need containers, labels, everything that you know you need. Um, if you want, just sell 8 ounce slimes for now. Um, because your slimes are great. 
I love your slimes. They're unique and they're fantastic. I'm telling you. Mr. Rhino Slimes, once you see Mr. Rhino's shop open, you need to definitely go there because wow, 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 wow. I hope when he, they open their shop, I get some slime so I can say, grand opening slime, here is the line. And I will show you the, his, their line. If, that's if they do. If they send me a line and when their shop opens, I will definitely be filming it because whoa 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 you've never felt slime like this before it is so insanely unique and so addictive alright guys that is my review for um, Mr. Rhino's slime shop upcoming slime shop alright guys well I'll see you on the next video I hope you enjoyed this one if you did please don't forget to hit that like button it helps me out a lot it lets me know you like what I'm doing also Hey everybody, welcome to Wahi Panda Slimes. I am Panda. Um, that's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> God, I hate myself sometimes.